Hey, what's going on everybody? Got ourselves another bat from JustBats.com and we have the Worth Bedlam One Piece Bat. Very well sought after bat, guys. A lot of people are trying to say this is uh, compared to the Tantrum, the One Piece Eastern Tantrum. So me and the guys are going to be out there at Heritage High School in Wake Forest, North Carolina. It's a 300 foot fence all the way around. It's under the lights. It's uh, temperature wise. It's like low 70s, drop down in the um, upper 60s. And uh, guys, we're gonna put some swings on this, but before we do that, we're gonna test this bat. And then at the end of the video, guys, we'll let you know what we think of the bat. So hey, let's get started. All right, guys, let's test the Worth Bedlam. Let's see, here we go. Here we go. Wow, that is, holy cow, dude, that's 1600, which is 253 on my tester. Yeah, 253. Wow. Are you going middle? No, it was just outside. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. This thing's compressing. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I got my tantrum in the bag. Wow, that's first swing. Accept it. Yeah, I thought I was going to hit a pole. Get it out of here. That don't sound like that. Golly, man. Enjoy it. The one I'm here for Adam. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll come film your games and increase your bat now. I used to swing 28. I hate being that guy though sound like i'm that old man yeah man okay guys a little bit of information about the worth bedlam xl so these come with a 12 and three quarter inch barrel um guys you can order these in sizes of 25 26 and 27 now this is an xl which of course you guys know an xl in worth terms that's a half ounce or a 0.5 ounce in load and guys this features the all all new x868 barrel technology so it's a little bit different tech That, that sounded just like a tantrum. Ah. 92. Real good. Like that. Is it too far outside? Oh, better. What's his name does his Jake editing? That sounded good. <laughs> and you're just a hair early. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know how it missed it. All right, guys, we're going to scale the Worth Bedlam and I have to scale it this way with the. I think it'll stay. 26 one. Let's get the end load. Sixteen three on the end. Damn it. Let's go nine two on the hands. Go that way. I'll move Turn them. Right 
All right, guys, we are going to do the final testing on the Worth Bedlam. So it's like 15, 50, 15. I would say like 15, 55, maybe. Uh, let's see. 15, 50. So that's 240. Well, it's dead on 15, 50 now. That's like 242 on my tester. Let's try the other side. Let's see here. All right. Well, 1550 on that side too, which is 242 on both sides, guys. So it's still passing. Short on him. Yeah. Still well gone. <laughs> was it? It was not, I'm, I stayed too busy. Like, I flew home to fly this place. I flew back home. Uh, I've been basically sitting again. But you don't have the swing bar this thing. Barrel. Okay, guys, you saw us just finish up swinging the worth bedlam from JustBats.com. First things first, we're going to go to the loading like we always do. 16.3 on the end, 9.3 on the hands. Um, super light half ounce in load. Mike and Worth, that's their typical loads. That's the way they normally do it. Um, I would almost go up a size. We could have easily swung a 27 and we would have been just fine. Um, but we, everybody liked this bat. Now, out of the wrapper, this thing was hot. Some swing one, everybody's like, uh-oh, this thing's gas. Um, you saw it test at like 253 in the wrapper, and we put approximately 120 some swings on this thing, and it dropped down to like 242. Now, when we left the field, everybody's like, there's no way that bat passes compression, but it did. Now, is this a bat that you want to BP? Absolutely not. If you're a guy that gets tested, uh, or if, if you're a guy that gets tested. Now, if you're a guy that gets tested, I'd probably put 25 swings on this and put it in my bag and make it a game-only bat and maybe get something else to, to BP with. Now, it has a huge sweet spot. Not a big lot of butt here, but um, and it's got a stiffer handle, so this thing breaks in super fast. Now, everybody wonders if, hey, is this basically a repainted tantrum because they're owned by Rollins, which is owns Easton also. No, it doesn't. We actually took some swings with the um, the Easton Tantrum, and I pretty much we already knew, but I but it, everybody was trying to say it was kind of tantrum like. Well, maybe because it's hot, but the tantrum has a duller feel. Sometimes you'll hit a ball with a tantrum, and you don't get the like you don't get any gratification. You don't feel that that feedback that you would normally get. Well, this we did. We got some instant feedback on this. Now the walls collapse on this thing, and it has like a more of a cracking sound, so it's got a really good sound to it. But um, it's definitely different than the tantrum. Plus, the tantrum's more inloaded in, to me, and it doesn't have the rubber knob on this bedlam here. Um, honestly, I kind of like the bedlam better than I did the tantrum. Um, I just missed the inload on this. So basically, basically, maybe go up a size if you can find one. But um, guys, if uh, I redid my top five right now, this would be in it because this was uh, Instant Gamer. Um, only knock on it is I don't think it's going to hold compression for you guys that get tested. But um, this thing's hot, guys. Um, big sweet spot. Out of the wrapper hot. Ball jumps off this thing. But, um, hey, guys, if uh, JustBatsJust.com had some 26s in stock the last time I checked. Um, but, I mean, these things are going fast. They just sell out everywhere. 
But uh, take a look there, guys. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. But um, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, reach down there and hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. We'll talk to you later.